Hi guys, welcome back to the Home and Homestead. My name is Rebecca and today you'll be joining me in the kitchen while we do a cook with me using the Instant Pot and we'll be making some corned beef hash. So I plan to do a number of meals with you guys using corned beef in order to make a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And for today, we'll do a breakfast. So follow along when we make a delicious corned beef hash in the Instant Pot. Today I'm using my six quart Instant Pot and in the liner pan I have one cup of water. I'm going to add a little steamer basket in here. And I've taken one pound of a corned beef brisket and it's kind of difficult to find a one pound cut. What I had was a nice three pound corned beef brisket and I just cut that into one pound portions and I'll be using one pound today for this corned beef hash. If you found a two pound corned beef brisket, you could double this recipe and use the whole thing. You could also freeze the remainder of it for another time. So I took one pound of that corned beef brisket and I cut it into the desired size pieces that I wanted. I wanted a little bit bigger pieces of corned beef for my hash. Now we'll put that prepared corned beef brisket pieces into the steamer basket. I'm going to spread that along the bottom. So then I took two medium red potatoes and I washed them real good and cut them into the desired size pieces that I wanted as well. And that was a similar size to the corned beef pieces. So now you just dump those potato pieces on top. I will add the pressure lid, turn it to seal. We're going to pressure cook. Your Instant Pot may have manual here. We're going to cook it for 10 minutes and that's on the high pressure setting. So we have an, a normal with high pressure. So we set that for 10 minutes. Now the Instant Pot will heat up and build pressure and once it comes to the proper pressure then the 10 minutes that we set will show up on the screen. Once the 10 minutes cook time has elapsed we'll do a five minute natural release and then we'll do a quick release. Since I'm doing a natural release I like to have the keep warm setting on because then it has a timer right on the screen for me. So now we'll let the Instant Pot do its thing and start cooking our corned beef hash. All right, so the cook time has just finished for our corned beef hash. So now we'll let this do a natural release for five minutes. So I'll watch for five minutes to show up on this timer. Okay, so the natural release time has finished. So now I'm just going to put my steam diverter on and just turn it. And that'll be our quick release of the steam. Okay, so the little tab in back has fallen flush with the Instant Pot lid. So now we can remove that lid and we'll turn it off. Now I'm just going to re remove that steam basket full of our cooked corned beef hash. We'll set that off to the side. Now I'm going to remove this Instant Pot liner, dump out that liquid, and clean it out so we can use it for the next step of this recipe. So now we'll place the liner pot back in there. If you have an extra liner pot, that would work fine too, and you can just put in your different one. But we'll do a saute. So it's on saute and normal. So now to the Instant Pot liner, we're going to add three tablespoons of oil, or you can do butter instead. Now we'll let the oil heat up a little bit. Now I have about one cup of onion that I minced up, which is about one large onion. And we're going to saute that. What's nice about preparing a meal such as this in the Instant Pot is it can all be completed in one pot. And to this we'll add three cloves of minced garlic. If you use a pre-minced garlic, it'll be about a teaspoon and a half. Mix that around here. We'll let this saute for a bit. we go. We're starting to get a little nice color on these onions. These have been sautéed for about five minutes now. So now we're going to put our corned beef and potato pieces back into here. And then you could add a half teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper or just salt and pepper to taste. I like to do about a teaspoon of Kinder's The Blend which is a salt, garlic, and pepper blend. You could use your favorite garlic pepper blend as well. I'm just season to preference, I'm going to do about a teaspoon. 
So now we have the onions and garlic all sauteing in here. They've been sauteing for five minutes. I added the cooked corned beef and potatoes in here and about a teaspoon of a garlic pepper blend. Now we're just going to let this saute for another five minutes or so until it's sauteed to the color and consistency that you prefer. If you really want it extra crispy, you could add something like a Mioti crisp lid, which is like an air fryer lid for the Instant Pot, and that would help get a nice golden brown color to your hash as well. All right, that's looking good. So let me plate some of this up and we can take a closer look at our corned beef hash. All right, guys, here you have it. Here is our Instant Pot corned beef hash. This will be great for breakfast. Serve this with or without eggs, your favorite way, and breakfast is served. We have nice big pieces of corned beef and potato and onion. So good. And also, when you prepare your corned beef hash this way, you control the salt content. So if you find corned beef hash typically is a little too salty for you, you might really enjoy this homemade corned beef hash. And it was really easy to make in the Instant Pot today. If you'd like more inspiration on meals that you can make with corned beef, you can check out my videos. I have a number of recipes where I use corned beef brisket and various different meals. I have the classic corned beef and cabbage. You can check out a video on and I show you exactly how I prepare my corned beef and cabbage meal. We'll also make some homemade pastrami and a nice pasta dish using some corned beef. Or if you're new to the channel, check out some other videos I have on recipes and food preservation. There's also a number of videos on gardening, home decor, and organization. If you're new to the channel, I would appreciate you subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Take care.